what's up guys WK Kong here and welcome back to another tutorial today um, I'll be teaching you how to stream from OBS to YouTube um, or YouTube gaming whatever uh, whatever you're streaming but anyway um, if you don't know live streaming is a way you can you know uh, make a video like record something live and then it just uploads that to YouTube or some other website I don't know there's tons of streaming websites out there um, it's mostly gaming like twitch or something but if you guys don't know i decided to stream on youtube anyway because i have more uh you know subscribers followers what we call it on youtube than twitch so um yeah i'm not gonna stream twitch anyway so just keep an eye out for me if i'm live on youtube you should get an email i don't know <laughs> um don't really know but anyway i'll be teaching you so last time i taught you how to record with obs and a setting so this time i'm going to be teaching you how to stream to youtube because some people requested this and here you go so basically we want to go. Uh, what we want to do is actually open up OBS, go to settings. Uh, I changed mine to recording and streaming because both of them. And then before I told you to, you know, go to file output only for recording. Now, if you want to live stream, go to live stream. And then here it should actually be blank. Here, it should be blank. And then just switch to custom. Go to youtubecom slash live underscore dashboard. I'll um, just type it in. I don't bother leaving this in the, in the description just go um, check like go to this link after the video and then after here you see here it's live streaming and then there are a few panels here you know it's you know there's dashboard view manager and all that it's part of the creator studio go to live streaming this part go to stream now beta because it's a beta don't go to events because events it's more complicated and it's not as good because sometimes it doesn't work because um you know it doesn't really work because sometimes you know you have to you know set up time and stuff so it's kind of complicated but if you want to because events people will see when you've scheduled um the event to the live stream event so it won't really be you know very live now but if you want to be live right now just gonna stream and it says here try a faster and easier way to stream so you will see that events even YouTube says that events aren't uh, very uh, you know convenient so if you go to stream now you can have this website uh, like this link it's still a live dashboard so basically you can see that the stream is offline right here because uh, we're not done with setting up the encoding on OBS right now and then Basically, what you want to do here, actually, I'll show you around here. You have, you know, the title name, the description. I changed it to test. I changed the game name because, you you, you know, test not change all the stuff. I'll just change it to film and animation, actually, randomly. And then here, you'll see some encoder. If it doesn't work, I will just, I'm not going to review this, but basically, um, if you review it and, um, you know, you see what it looks like. But right now, I'm just going to copy this, paste it into this copy this paste it into this now if it has some kind of uh, warning when you start streaming using OBS I'll teach you how to do it um, basically just gonna review and reset it and then just repeat the process it should work and I'll change all of this and you can see a live chat here you can say something here but that was from like two weeks ago and you can see all this messages per minute zero watching now and stuff so it's very you know Everything's right here, and if you want to watch, we have view and watch page. You just go here, and if you're viewing on YouTube, if it's from YouTube Gaming, you can actually select which one it goes to. But I'm gonna change it to film and animation right now. It's all changes saved. So this, you don't need to reload it to actually check if the stream is offline or online. It just automatically refreshes. So well, what we wanna do is actually go to yeah, apply here, OBS, and then go to OK, and then press start streaming. So basically, once it starts streaming, just wait for a bit, and right here, you can see this warning that I mentioned just now. Basically, what happened was, um, this wasn't renewed, so I'll be back in a second with this when I press review, and then refresh it, uh, get a new code, and then I'll be back. So if that happens, just do that, and it should work. So guys, I've got the code, and then now I'll just paste it back into here. It should work this time if it doesn't I will fix it but it should work this time and then right here if you if this turns green yes it turns green I have another monitor right here 
and then you can see well you can't see this but you can see that this will you know starting stream health with stream uh, receiving content your your audience will see in a moment get ready so basically if it says you're live right now this will have like a 20 second delay and so you won't be able to you know you won't be able to like monitor it live but then you can change you know? the volume so right now as you can see it's live you can actually change the resolution of this and stuff you can view on watch or on the watch page you know there's a lot of stuff to do you can view on the watch page um it's live anyway and so and you can see a chat like right monitor here. live um, but then you can change the volume so right now as you can see it's you live can you can actually change the resolution of this and anyway. stuff you can view on watch anyway, on the watch page um, you know there's a lot of stuff to do you can see you can view the on the watch page time right here. um sometimes it's it live work. Um, anyway i mean it doesn't update and so it quickly so it's in see if you pause it it's not live but if you go you can see you know it's actually live so anyway you can actually type something i just type in sometimes lines with test stream I'm testing it right now you can change the resolution as I said oh my god get this out the way um, but then you can change the resolution so to see it in you know another resolution the maximum I don't know depending on your Wi-Fi speed it should be 720p because um, it kinda updates quite slow so as you can see right here um, it has a delay, so yeah. So this is basically, it's very easy. You can stream under like two minutes or something or something, you know. And you can actually, actually, it's the good thing is that you can go back here and watch before the stream. Like I mean, watch something that was before it was live. So it's actually quite good because on Twitch you can't do that, but you can if you go here and see who's watching and stuff all this stuff but it, it might take like a few seconds to update because I, as I said before it had a delay so anyway um, I will see you guys next time please remember to leave a like comment down below and subscribe I'll just stop streaming right now but then let me finish recording and then actually let me finish stop streaming so but I'm still recording with this but I hope this tutorial helped you if it did please remember to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and if you're new to my channel thank you um, please subscribe we're nearly at 700 uh, uh, subscribers, can't say stuff properly, um, but I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!